this is, Walter, a perfect storm, really. I mean, in the worst sense. Um, and now it looks like it'll be necessary to extend the lockdown. Here in Germany, they're talking about another eight to 10 weeks. I think you want to extend it another two months as well. Doesn't yeah. that do, uh, isn't that, isn't it possible or are you worried about the side effects? You know, not just the mental health, not just the economic, but the mental health damage that could be done. Yes, there are these serious concerns, but honestly, we have to stop the virus and we have to stop before the arrival of the so-called British variant, which is even more contagious. So when you do, are not able to contain uh, the virus anymore, you have to mitigate. And what all the countries, including Italy, uh, yesterday the government approved uh, a decree to do that, uh, we have to lock down, we have to limit the mobility of the people because the virus uh, goes on the shoulder of people. And if we block at this moment, we uh, hope that the, this can improve not only the health situation, but also the economics, because there is there can, cannot be economy without a good health, uh, both at individual and collective level. So we are confident that these measures can, can do that. Now, You've got, at the same time, this political crisis. Are you concerned that that will derail your effort to contain uh, the virus to the extent that you can and to roll out the vaccine? Uh, I'm concerned, but I'm also optimistic. I, I hope that uh, next week the crisis could be resolved in the parliament. Uh, as far as I understand, there is the possibility for this government to continue and uh, I'm confident that the Minister of Health is going to stay because he has granted very, very much uh, the stability and uh, the decision-making based on evidence, on sound scientific evidence. So I'm confident that next week we can start again to focus on resolving the health uh, situation and not the, the political crisis. Uh, what, is, what is your assessment of Italy's vaccine rollout um, so far? It's been slow going, but it's obviously a daunting task. At the moment, Italy is going pretty well because we are vaccinating uh, healthcare workers and actually we are the first in Europe. In uh, less than a month, we have vaccinated almost 60% of the healthcare workers. I'm a little bit more concerned about the mass uh, population vaccination, which should be started in March. And of course, this is an immense challenge for us and we have to be prepared. And I think we have to catch up a little bit. Uh, what, I wonder what your take is on, and we've had uh, Bloomberg Opinion writing negatively about this, the UK spacing out vaccines. It's not been clinically trialed and maybe won't work quite as well. Uh, is there a possibility that Italy would follow that? I'm strongly advising against it because we have to trust uh, the regulatory agencies. They have evaluated dossier on the basis of clinical trials. If we don't do that, we are going to make trials on people and we, this could harm the trust that people already have in science, technology and specifically on vaccine. So we have to, strict, to be strict with the regulation and we have to comply with the kind of result that we have seen are working and makes vaccines safe and protective. And we don't have to change this. All right, so considering that, um, when do you think we can expect Italy to be properly vaccinated to the point of, you know, uh, herd immunity? No, I think herd immunity in general will be something that Italy and the rest of the world will achieve later this year, hopefully. But it depends on the fact uh, that we keep vaccination on a very good pace because the British variant can really harm this. If British variant is taking over the so-called Spanish variant, we have to vaccinate almost 90, 95 percent of the population. While with the current variant, we can stay uh, happy with the 70, 80 percent. So it's going to change dramatically and we have to speed up the vaccination now. So I think that we can vaccinate 20 million of Italians before summer and approximately 25 after summer and reaching possibly the herd immunity in October, November. But this is a, a challenge that, of course, it happens if we win this challenge. 